Hello there and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra and today we're going to talk about Cricut's Smart Iron On Vinyl. This is specifically for the Cricut Joy and it does not require you to use a mat, this bad boy. So it's pretty neat because it's literally just a sheet of iron on, but it is smart. So therefore it feeds itself into the machine and you do not need a mat for it to grip on. Convenient, easy, and awesome. It's even more awesome because it is bright pink, bright orange, and bright yellow. We have, they have other colors available too, but it's almost summer and I need some summer hot pinkness in my life stat. So today we are going to make a decal for these fun little can koozies that I have. These are an easy and super inexpensive beginner project, um, especially if you have the Easy Press Mini. I don't have one of those yet. I just have the big iron um, or the big easy, oh my goodness, the big heat press. And there will be a video later on how to press these because they can be finicky and you can melt them. So make sure you subscribe so that you can see that video later on, um, probably within the next week or so I'll put it up. Um, but so we're going to make an image for this can koozie. So the image that I have chosen, I'm actually going to cut out two because I'm going to do one for myself and one for a friend. It says, I don't give a flock with a hot pink flamingo. So we're going to do these in on a black koozies and we're going to use hot pink for the flamingo and white for the I don't give a flock. So both are smart vinyl, smart iron on. So you do not need a mat for this project. You just need the Cricut Joy, the fine point blade design space. I'm using it on my iPhone. Um, convenience again you can really do this anywhere you can do it from a hotel room you could probably do it at work but sh don't let your boss find you um really anywhere your kitchen counter your bedroom wherever you want so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started i have my image already sized to fit the koozie so i don't have to do any of that i'm just going to select make it and when you select make it it'll come up with some options you can kind of see the options there the first one is without a mat, which is for Cricut Smart products. The second one is on a mat, so you would need the green mat. Card mat, which is for cards, or for multiple ways. Multiple ways means that they you can do both with the Smart Vinyl and without the Smart Vinyl. So that's a pretty cool feature too. We'll do a video on that later. So I don't need a mat because I have my Smart Vinyl, so we're gonna go ahead and select without mat. I talked too much apparently because it timed me out. All right, so we're gonna select without a mat and it already aligns it for you. So you just, can you see it? I know my light's super bright, but it shows you exactly how it's going to come out. Now I want to change the amount of copies of the project that I do. So when to do that, you'll select right here in the top left hand, right hand corner, left hand corner, and one of the top corners, depending on how, if you're looking at it is on the left. You're gonna see the number two over there in the top corner that tells you how many mats. You're gonna select that little bitty mat and you'll see that the first thing it says is project copies. I want two, so you'll just select the number, hit backspace, Select the number two and, oh, we want to select mirror. That's where you'll select mirror the image too because you want to be able to press it onto your koozie so you want it backwards. <laughs> All right, so you see at the very top there, it says number of copies, two, and then at the very bottom, there's that tab to flip over to um, your mirror the image. All right, so once you've got all that, you'll hit done. And then it'll ask you, change project copies. This will do your hide or move changes. Just select yes. And then mirror your second copy or your second image. And you're good to go. All right, so we've got this two and it is mirrored. So we are good to go. So we're gonna select continue down in the bottom 
right hand corner. Again, if you're looking at your phone, it is the right hand corner. So we got that. And now my joy is gonna give me complications. So I have to go back into my Bluetooth real quick. Hold on. It does this if I take too long. <laughs> All right, so we are now connected and that should pop up. Hit continue again in the bottom right hand corner there. Bottom right hand corner. It's gonna pop up with another selection and what you're gonna select is the very first option that is available under popular which says smart iron on. I need to wipe my phone off, that's kind of greasy fingers. Smart iron on selected, and it tells you, make sure mirror is turned on. All right, and the flashing light tells you that it is ready to be loaded. So, with the white, it is kind of confusing, which side is which, right? So, how to tell is the shiny side face down, always. For the colored on these, You'll see that, there's a piece of vinyl on it. You'll see that this is colored, this is not. When putting this into the mat, color side down. Easy peasy. So for the white, just this shiny side, not the matte side. Shiny side, face down. All right, so we're just gonna load it here into the machine and we're gonna let that run through and you're gonna select go. And it's gonna go and do its thing. Any second now. It's gonna do its thing. There we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna do lots of tutorials for the Joy, so make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all of them in the near future. Um, it's a new machine by Cricut, so it's not very demanded that uh, the videos are created. Well, I guess it is more demanded that we make awesome tutorials for you guys so that you can see how to use this new machine and some of the tips and tricks and hacks, the things that I like to do on how to use them. Um, lots of fun stuff coming. <clears throat> joy has brought a lot of joy because I can um, do it really anywhere. We're going on vacation soon and I can take this little guy with me and have fun crafting. If it rains or something and we can't go lay out on the beach or go to any theme parks or anything like that, you know, like I said, you can use it in your hotel room. How awesome is that? I think it's pretty cool. So it's almost done already. Oh no. There's something stuck to it. There's another piece of vinyl. Oops. Glad I caught it before it messed up my cut. I would've been upset. Whoops. So the smart iron-on, it tells you right there like what to expect from it. It is a matte colored so it's not gonna be shiny like this when you read it it's gonna be like a flat color and then it shows you that you get three sheets and then it is called the glow stick sampler it tells you all the details you need to know about what type of colors and then it tells you the color names right here on the corner as well there's neon pink neon yellow and neon orange very fun cool colors they remind me of like construction colors all right, so about this Cricut iron-on, the smart iron-on. Things to look at, you can, uh, it works on a wide variety of materials, so can koozies, t-shirts, uh, backpacks, totes. Um, trying to think of what else I've used HTV on. I've used it on wood. I've used it on plastic. Well, not plastic. You can't iron on plastic. It melt but you can use it on stainless steel, like uh, the tumblers, you can create tumblers with it. I've used it on ceramic, lots of different things. So it is very easy to weed. It is kind of hard to pull off of that um, mask. I think that it's a stronger mask because you're not using a mat, um, but outside of that, it is very easy to weed. Uh, strong bond guarantee for long lasting results for Cricut Joy Smart Machine. And it lasts 50 washes. Sorry, outlast 50 plus washes, which is great. All right, first run is done. I rhymed, ha ha. And now we go to flamingos. So again, shiny side or colored side down. And for as little as this guy is, it really does work really hard and really fast. Um, even my maker wouldn't cut those any quicker, so. Unless you did the speed cut, so. 
All right, so we're working on flamingos. And while that works, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to cut this because I can't really see. There it is. This is when I need my light pad. I'm so excited for these koozies and these colors because it really puts me in the mood for summer. And I like to weed my vinyl on the mat because it just works as another hand. I'm gripping the backing so that I don't have to pull so hard. You'll notice I'm not really using my arm very much. I, this arm, recently had shoulder surgery, so I'm not trying to make it angry. But I still want to craft. It's like crafting is my sanity. I should make a shirt that says crafting and boxing is my therapy. That's a good idea. I think I'll do that. <laughs> All right, the flamingos are almost done, and in that amount of time, I have almost finished weeding these words. Gonna use my little weeding tweezers for this. If you don't have yourself a pair of weeding tweezers, get them. I will put the pair that I have in the um, description for you. These things are like amazing, seriously. They make weeding so much easier. Especially those little tiny dots. Those little things drive me nuts because they're so difficult to get and not ruin the rest of your project. If you have any ideas on uh, things that I can use for my weeding scraps, because that'd be great, drop them in the comments for me. I'd really appreciate that. So places to put these little pieces so that they don't end up all over me and my house and my dog and my kids. All right, so the flamingos are done. We'll get to those in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and just finish weeding these for you. See, it's just a bit stronger than regular, the other vinyl. The mask that is not the vinyl. The vinyl's probably about the same quality as any other Cricut vinyl. Um, I haven't really used it on any iron-on projects yet to tell you how long it lasts or how well it holds up, but I'm pretty sure it'll do just fine. Cricut has taken lots of advice from its community and definitely worked on its products. So we are almost done with this. I'm not gonna take you through the whole weeding of the, the flamingos. There's lots of little holes. <laughs> but these two are done. Go ahead and cut that. There we go. And then we will cut the flamingos out. One thing that I do have to say, being a crafter that hates wasting vinyl or product in general, this, the Joy does create, it does leave a giant gap. It's probably like a one inch, let's measure it. It's about a one inch gap at the very top of the material and it does that on everything, the cardstock and everything. I'm not entirely sure why, but it does waste a good chunk of vinyl. I'll show you exactly how much in just a second. Ooh, I got that one right on the head, literally. So this is all at the top. I'll use that with the mat at some point. So put this down. And then I think there's some on the side too here that I can save. I hate wasting vinyl. It's expensive, so if I can save it, I'm going to. And if you're a craftaholic like me, you totally understand. You get it. If you're not, you should be. That's all I got. Ooh, this is super, super, super bright. And I love it. Okay. Oops. You can see how bright this is. This is awesome. I am 
all four awesome, crazy, bright, flamboyant vinyl. Just creates some sort of happy, right? Almost done here. Okay. I'm gonna pull out the little center of the legs here and there. Okay, so we now have two hot pink flamingos that I'm super excited to put on <laughs> these cookies and I don't give a flock. Okay, there's that. And I'm just kind of placing it here. I mean, I might have to change it up a little bit outside of what I originally had planned, but that's all right. Crafting is all about adapting to change, right? So this is basically what it's going to look like when it's all pressed and good to go. Look at that, how fun, super exciting. All right, peeps, that's it. That's how you use Cricut Joy Smart Iron-On. It's pretty fun, pretty simple, right? Very easy to use, no hassle really, weeding it's super easy, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how well it holds up. Can Koozie's gonna go through the, the works when it comes to <laughs> being used, so I can tell you that I'll probably have some reviews on those very soon. So just keep an eye on the comments. I'll update you guys. Until next time, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see me actually press these bad boys. All right. We'll see you next time.